Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Brother Amos with the Watchman for Israel. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. To the brothers pushing this truth for strong sincerity, laboring on the highways and byways, making a body a living sacrifice, doing all they can for the elect. I want to give y'all a strong shout of Continue to endure, continue to labor, right? Continue to magnify the name of our God, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Uh, to the sisters holding down in the household, taking care of the children, reverencing their husbands and all things, being a teacher to the younger women uh, of good things. I want to give y'all a strong shalom. And to the young men and women coming out of the world, forsaking the way to this world, and coming back to the glorious light of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, I want to give y'all a strong shalom as well. Uh, continue to search in the church of Berea and search the scriptures to see if what was spoken to you is true. Right? So this is... Uh, James chapter 5 and 16. Confess your faults one to another. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Right? So I'm going to title this lesson Stop with the Pride, Israel. Forgive and move past. Right? So that goes into asking pardon and forgiveness of your brother. Right? Not holding grudges. Right? Let's get let's get that in the law. Right? Because that's a sin to hold grudges. Right? This is uh, Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as, yourself, as thyself. I am the Lord thy God. Right? So you can't bear any uh, grudges. You can't avenge. Right? You're holding on to something that somebody did to you. Uh, three years ago, right? I'll never forget that nigga. He did this. No, move past. Put that pride to the side. Pride goes before destruction, right? That's a prideful thing not to accept somebody's apology, right? Let's go to Hebrews chapter 12. We're going to go down to verse 14. And it reads, Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Right? So you got to follow peace with all men. What does it mean to be peaceable? Apologizing when you're in the wrong. Accepting that person's apology. Right? All those things come with being peaceable. Right? With all men. Right? And that's talking about amongst Israel. Right? All men. That's not uh, speaking live peaceably amongst all men. Right? Live peaceably. Follow peace with all men. Right? All your Israelite brothers, uh, your Israelite sisters... Right, follow peace with them. Right, it shouldn't be no reason that somebody apologizes and you still got the stink face. You don't forgive them. Right, verse fifteen. Looking diligently, least any man fall fail of the grace of Yahweh, least any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Right, so you got to hold diligently these attributes of being a peaceable man or a peaceable woman. At least she fell for the grace of your Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Meaning you're going to be judged for the sins that you could, uh, or the inequity that you committed. Right? These things hold weight. Not living peaceably amongst your brothers. Not forgiving your brother. Not apologizing. Right? That's a big thing right there. Apologize for the wrong that you have done. Right? It's not hard to do. Right? We are adults. Right? Right? The scriptures say, and malice be like children. Let me get that. First Corinthians 14. Right? Was it Corinthians or Chronicles? I think it was Corinthians. Right, first Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 20. Brethren, be not children in understanding, howbeit in malice be ye children, but in understanding be men. Right, what does it mean in malice be children? Right, you know how kids they'll be playing on the playground, another kid to push another kid, then they start hitting each other, then they crying. Five minutes later, they the best of friends and they hugging one another. That's what the that's what Paul is writing, right? And yet anger be as children, forget it, let it let it let it go past, man. Right, if the Lord allow you to see another second, let it go past. You don't need to hold on to it, but understand and be men, right? 
So when it comes to understanding, you got to be men. When it comes to discerning faults, discerning situations, you have to be a man. And the vice versa, you have to be a woman, right? You got to you gotta use wisdom that's dwelling in your temple, that the most high give without liberty to every man that asketh, right? Just like faith, right? So, and, and, and malice be ye children, right? Let's go to Luke chapter 17, right? Luke 17, verse 3. Right? This is 17 and verse 3 of Luke. Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. Right? So it seems like I'm getting into it with a brother who's in my camp. Right? He trespass against me. He goes behind my back and says some wild accusation. Right? I have to rebuke that man. I got to go one to one to him. I have to rebuke him. And if he repents, say, you know what? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have did that. I have to forgive him. Right? That's how it should be. Right? Every Israelite needs to take this matter. Every Israelite needs to use these examples that Yahweh shall set up that we can follow suit. Right? You can't just be like, man, that nigga did this, 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 and this against me. I'll never forgive him. I hate him forever. Curse him and his kid. You know, you can't be like that. Right? And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and in seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. So no matter how many times. This person trespasses against you. If they repent and they apologize to you, you got to accept their forgiveness, man. Right? Now, accepting their forgiveness and being naive is two separate things, right? Right? Fool me once, shame on shame on uh, you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Right? You can't let somebody continue to do the same thing over and over, but you have to forgive them. Right? Because if you want the Lord to forgive you, right, you got to forgive them. All right? Let's go to side right. Let's go to Cyrex, chapter 28, right? We're going to read 1 through 4. He that revenges shall find vengeance from the Lord. He will surely keep his sins in remembrance. Forgive thy neighbor the hurt that he hath done unto thee. So shall thou sin also be forgiven when thou prayest, right? So if you revenge him, the Lord going to have vengeance on you. Right, you trying to wait in the bushes, trying to clock him in the head with a rock. You want to smite him, put him to death. The Lord going to put you to death. Forgive thy neighbor the hurt that he had done unto thee. So shall thy sin also be forgiven when thou prayest. So you are commanded to forgive your neighbor. Right? And as the neighbor who committed the trespass, you got to apologize. Right? That's where it comes in to brotherly love. Admitting your faults. Admitting when you're wrong. And asking that person to forgive you. That's what repentance is. Right? Ask for the pardons and do it no more. You got to repent of the actions that cause this person error. Right? When you trespass against this person. Right? One man beareth hatred against another. Do he seek pardon from the Lord? Right? That goes back to Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 18. You hold that grudge. You angry. You want to have vengeance. Right? How are you going to ask the Lord to forgive you your sins if you can't forgive the next man who sinned against you? Right? He showeth no mercy to a man which is like unto himself, and do if he asks forgiveness for his own sins. Right? You don't show no mercy to your brother. You think the Lord truly gonna show you mercy? Right? It don't. It don't add up. It's ignorant. It's a foolish thing to think. Right? Let's get into the habit as Israelite men and Israelite women, and teach our children. Right? Apologize and forgive. Right? A lot of us didn't learn that growing up. A lot of us said, yo, I'm going to get that brother back. This is an X, Y, and Z. Now we at the point where it's apologize for the wrongs you committed and forgive for the wrongs that somebody else has committed. That's the type of time that we're moving in right now. As Israelite men and women, we got to teach the nation how to be better. Right? Let's go to Matthew chapter 6 and verse 14. Right? Matthew chapter 6 and verse 14. And ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your heavenly Father forgive your trespasses. Right? Clear cut, clear as day, can't get around it. Forgive to be forgiven. Don't forgive, get destroyed. Right? So we gotta we gotta push this out. We gotta let all Israel know. Put the pride to the side. 
apologize. Right? You don't think it's time me and my brothers in the camp that had to apologize to one another? Yes. That's the part about being a man and getting a friend. Right? Y'all one more preach that before I close out. Right? If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first. Be not hasty to credit him. For some man is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in a day of trouble. Right? So you have to prove people. Right? If a man can come to you and apologize, hey brother, look, I offended you. I'm sorry if I if I said something wrong. I just want you to forgive me, brother. That's not how I wanted to come off, X, Y, and Z. Right? As a man, you gotta forgive that. That's a humble thing to do. That's a humi that's that's humility right there. Right? You have to be uh uh able to relate and to be humble and to prove you and to show yourself friendly right i guarantee you that somebody is watching you how you dictate and how you move amongst brethren and sisters somebody's watching you how you dictate and move around sisters right show yourself friendly apologize be forgiven don't hold on to grudges let it be right be wise right like the scriptures say and, and malice be children right it's, it's, it's never not going to be a time where the adversary is not lurking Satan trying to uh, cause confusion and chaos, right? But let let that go, right? Let that go. Forgive to be forgiven, right? Apologize so that your sins can be, uh, so that Yahweh Shai can bring you up into remembrance for your atonements as well, right? So with that, I'm going to say Shalom, uh, right? Apologize, Israel. Just apologize. Shalom.